Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, the change has begun to a uh, prolonged Arctic blast is what it looks like. Looking at the Tower Cam in Minot, uh, now the normal high is 23, and we were warmer in that earlier today, but right now uh, the temperature is down to 15 degrees, but the west wind at 28 miles an hour has already knocked the wind chill to below zero, to five degrees below zero. Now, earlier today, uh, I drove to Williston to get the first vaccine shot, and it was just amazing watching the temperature drop as I drove east. I think it dropped like eight degrees between Minot and Williston. Right now, uh, Williston looks a lot better than it did earlier. When I was there, it's 10. Northwest went to 20, and it feels like 9 degrees below zero. So here are a few more temperatures across uh, western North Dakota, and we have that strong northwest wind blowing right now. I mean, it's not the crazy wind, but when it's this cold, and it's going to get colder, uh, we're talking about some brutal wind chills that are still on the way. So right now, teens and 20s, slightly less cold in the southwestern part of the state. And the farther south and east you go, you get a little bit warmer air. So the wind chills in many areas, especially north of Lake Sakakawea, are above uh, or below zero and a little bit above zero for the wind chills south of Lake Sakakawea. But once we go below zero, either Thursday night, I think Thursday night, Friday morning, once we go below zero, uh, we may not go back up above zero till sometime next week. And then there may be little breaks here or there, but I just looked at a long range pattern and it looks like brutally cold weather for a good chunk of February. Uh, that's what it looks like right now. Uh, the wind speed is roughly 20 to 30 miles an hour, so uh, it'll get your attention. And out in the open country, uh, there's plenty of blowing snow. Now, the snow wasn't heavy, but with this wind, uh, it certainly has been blowing around. Now, the National Weather Service in Glasgow has issued a uh, wind chill advisory for those counties. Now, I'm almost positive over the next couple of days we're going to see uh, many many more counties added to either a wind chill advisory or a wind chill warning which would be a more serious because the wind chills could get that cold. Here's a look at the satellite and radar, and the only batch of little heavier snow looked to be up in the Turtle Mountains. You can see that brown right there, but otherwise it looks like a lot, but it just never added up to much. So the precision cast, all those yellow streams, wind streams there, 25 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds, or 20 to 30 anyway. Tomorrow morning, fairly cloudy, but if you look throughout the day, we still keep those yellow wind streams. That means it's going to be windy all day and colder, which means wind chills. So uh, that's really what we're looking at. Here. So the wind chill forecast uh, tomorrow morning, and this is the wind chill, projected wind chill, and how long it takes to get uh, frostbite and exposed skin. So I'm going to get out of the way here tomorrow night, and then we're looking at uh, Friday morning. Uh, that's really cold. And then look at that. It's so cold that uh, we don't even have a color for it. That would be colder than 40 below. And you can see those wind chill times dropping. And Saturday morning, you could get uh, frostbite and exposed skin in roughly five minutes if those wind chills do uh, pan out. It improves slightly during the day. And then if you're going to be watching the big game on Sunday, uh, it is still going to be extremely cold. So the next 72 hours for uh, Dickinson, notice how these temperatures just fall like a rock. And uh, for Williston, the high temperature will be below zero on Saturday. So tonight, single digits, some above, some below zero. Tomorrow, uh, we're looking at single digits to maybe some 20s in the southwest. Uh, here's a look at the Bismarck seven-day outlook. And it is going to be rather, rather cold, but you can see how uh, even in the south, some of those temperatures, a lot of those temperatures are going to go below zero, but it is going to be much colder even in the north. And of course, we'll have an updated forecast for you uh, coming up tonight on KX24.